what's up you guys Megan here so today I'm going to be sharing with you what I think is a pretty cool video I'm sharing with you guys some of my favorite tips and tricks for making some DIY binder covers now I've been making my own binder covers for years and many people have asked me how I do it and I used to use those online templates that you can Google but honestly I did learn how to do them by myself and you can make them so much more customizable you can choose your pattern your print whatever you can make it all your own I think having customized school supplies is really cool and it's definitely a conversation starter so today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a couple different binder covers as well as how I organize my binder I'm definitely a binder gal I do not really like notebooks or folders or anything like that so I really stick with the binder so I'm going to be showing you guys my best tips and tricks for organizing my binder that I've collected over the years really hope you guys enjoy and just keep watching Alrighty guys, so for the first binder cover, I just went to pickmonkey.com just so that everyone could access it. And the first thing I'm doing is resizing. Now unclick proportions and the dimensions are going to be 2550 by 3300. Then you're going to want to go to overlays, your own, and then I here I looked up some pineapple overlays and I searched for large images just so it looks more crisp and clean. And today I wanted to do a kind of mirrored look so I just duplicated the overlay and then I flipped it like that so that it kind of looked mirrored and cool and then here I just inserted a geometric overlay which is on the same page and I just made it pink to kind of match the, the pineapple on the right and then I just typed in the class I was going to be using it for this is so it's very customizable and you can just do it to fit your needs here I just made it for chemistry and I think this looks really cute and really unique in this clip, you can see me just looking on Tumblr for pictures. I got all of these pictures from the Tumblr J'adore J Crew. I freaking love this Tumblr, and I thought it would be really cute. Alrighty, guys, so I'm just heading to pickmucky.com and clicking on the collage option, and here you can see all the pictures I had. And then I just selected one that would have a little bit less than the pictures that I had, and I actually clicked autofill, which was really helpful. And I just switched a couple pictures around and then I adjusted the dimensions at the bottom to be 2550 by 3300 which is the dimensions of a sheet of paper and then I just adjusted the background and the spacing and then I saved that but you can also click edit so that you can do it on top it collapses the image so that it is all one and here I'm just writing my name now for the purposes of this video I wrote my middle name just so that my last name is not displayed all over the internet, but I thought this looks really classy and really preppy. So for the last binder cover, I will be making a monogrammed one. I just downloaded this Lily Pulitzer print, and I am using a monogram font. Now, I recommend the monogram KK font. This is not the one that I have on my computer, but this is the one that I have on our PC, and that works very well. So basically, you're just going to watch me make individual text boxes for each letter. That's how you're going to get them all different sizes, but you do want to make sure your first and middle initial are the same size. And here I am just putting a white circle so that you can see it better, but I did match the color so that it would go with one of the colors within the pattern. And then I'm just putting this really cute polka dot border around it, and I made this for AP European History, which is a class I'm taking this year. This is what my binder looks like this year. I think it's super cute and I love the cover. I will tell you guys that I have not started school yet. I don't start for another two weeks, which is great. This is what my binder is going to look like the day I walk into my first day of school. I'm not changing anything after this. This is exactly what it looks like. Why? There's a post-it note right here because that's my last name and I don't really want my last name all over the internet. So we're just going to leave it like that. So my first tip for binder organization is to have a pencil pouch. This makes the world of a difference so you're not having pencils and pens and highlighters and everything floating around your binder. This just really compacts it. I have this Vera Bradley one and here I just have some highlighters, some colorful pens, some pencils, and my headphones. My next tip is to have a folder like this one. I recommend three hole punch folders. This folder is a five star mead folder. I totally, totally recommend it because it's this hard material, not a paper material. And on the inside, you can see it looks very official and it's because it is. It has this fancy little pocket for some index cards or whatever you want to put down there, maybe your schedule or your locker combination. 
And up here it has these tabs to hold your papers in like this. This is just the divider little labels thing but this is great I store my homework in this folder and stuff like that I've done this ever since sixth grade it works like a charm so my next tip is to use these little guys this is a binder clip binder clips are amazing they mark your place in notes like no tomorrow they are awesome especially with notes that start from the oldest notes and go all the way back to the newest notes I know that's how I do my math notes so that's really great. You just clip it on and then you flip over. It's so much easier than trying to flip through and look for stuff and it's just super helpful during the school year. The next lifesaver that I live by are post-it notes. Now these ones are just the regular block ones and I also have the flags right here. These regular post-its are great for just taking one, sticking in the front of your binder and writing down what you need to do today or writing your agenda, your to-do list or writing down some upcoming assignments or stuff like that. Just something that you can really corral your life into just super simply and they stick on everywhere. These flags are great for when a teacher asks you to annotate something and you can't write on it. I think these are super helpful because you can write on them but you can also just point to important words or phrases, stuff like that. These are so great for school. My next recommendation for school supplies is to buy these pocket dividers. Now these ones are from Avery and it just has this front pocket right here where you can put any papers or any syllabuses, projects, rubrics, stuff like that in the front of this that can just kind of overarch the whole class and kind of introduce it, or a policy letter. These are great when you want to organize your life but don't have a whole punch nearby, and honestly, these are a lifesaver. My next recommendation about dividers is to have subdividers. These ones are just from Avery, and these are the write-on dividers. These are great for corralling tests and quizzes in under one and then notes behind another or whatever you need to divide your sections into maybe units or stuff like that. These saved my life and honestly it makes papers so much easier to find especially when you're looking for notes but you keep passing tests and quizzes and you're like where the heck are they? You get the point, you know the struggle. So don't make yourself know the struggle. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. I thought it was kind of different from what I usually do and what I've usually seen here on YouTube. I really hope you got something out of it. If you do try any of the binder covers, let me know. Also give this video a thumbs up if you did like it, as well as hit the subscribe button if you like to see more videos like this one or just want to stick around. I will see you guys in my next video. So until next time, bye guys.